All right, took the liberty of uh, upgrading my weapons just a bit, you know, just added some uh, sure grip and uh, added a uh, better barrel and stuff and ele electric shock to my gun. I thought, why not? I'm just going to have a run around here and see if there's anything, any quests or anything while we're here. Doesn't look like it. I don't see any named people. We're looking for named people for quests. A uh, trash cube. Yeah, look at him. He just keeps making them. Fucking weird, Carl. I right, don't think uh, he can hear you. He's in the zone. I yeah, don't Trash see any named zone. people around here, maybe in the saloon. Out of any machine, that's good. Ah, Ash, who are you? Never seen you before. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Sit at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. Just a lot of heartbreak. What happened? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. Fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Alright. Uh, photographs and stuff? Thereabouts. I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. I'm getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. This joint's looking like my last home. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> you getting stuck here. All right, then. Appreciate it, kid. I'll mark an outpost on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Thank you very much, Ash. Yeah. I think we... I think we did all the dialogue options, right? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oops. Let's stop doing that. If you got in your mind that I want company, you're wrong. Okay, fair enough. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Oof. Anyway. We already asked him what his story was. Anyway, moving on. I think that's the only NPC in there, really. Uh, I can't remember where we came by here, to be honest. We got this thing, Arizon Scene. Investigate the drop-off point. That's nearish. I guess we were like fast traveling. So that's one objective, just up the road there. Let's check that first. I was to put a sight on this thing, it's so funny. A nice golden sight. Oh, got a manti pillar. Oh, hello, you got a manti tree. Yeah. <laughs> they deal with Mandy Queen. Woo! We made Easy. Yeah, all the roads are blocked with Mandy Queens around here. Nice big magazine there. 
A thousand rounds as well, it's not bad. So there's something to investigate down there, it seems. Let's go down. Oh, come on. I, I took full damage from that when it was perfectly fine, otherwise. There's a drop point. What happened here? We ought to be quick about this. Take a thing. Ooh. New floor. Arachnophobia. Uh, no thanks. Why would this give me arachnophobia? I don't even see any spiders. That doesn't make much sense, does it? Like, unless these guys are killed by arachnophobes. I mean, killed by spiders. I don't see any spiders. Very strange trait to give somebody. Right out of the blue. This, ooh, heavy ammo. Yes, please. Maybe the spiders around here somewhere. Yes. Let's bit of loot that. Okay, let's examine this. A trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. Trail of blood, eh? There's a trail of blood leads kinda over here. Ah, here we go. Blood. Yeah, yeah. Blued, yeah. That's another blued, yeah. Another guy. More blued, right? Uh, leads down here. Okay, smuggler's tunnel. Let's go check it out. Not sure what to make of this. these things sprout protective clothing what okay I'll turn that off whatever that is Where did that come from? Oh, up there. Gotcha. I missed that. Survivor, eh? Who's this guy? Doesn't look like he wants to Stay fight. back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? I shot him. <laughs> See, nine appeals that were more dangerous. Well, you don't gotta be mean about it. <laughs> what are you doing out here anyway? Let's take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Catherine told me some of her couriers had gone missing out there. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret.
Looks like that turned out well. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the Marauders noticed because they were waiting for us. Blew the bridge and took off with the goods. What's with all the traps? A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Where'd those marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Oh, thank you very much for the free stuff. Fair enough, Sai, there. Eh? <coughs> nice. My guys here like I've got nothing, but like you got plenty of stuff, buddy. Plenty Some nice bypass shunts. Do nicely as my reward for us patching up. He's gonna head out of here anyway, so might as well. Might as well help ourselves. That helmet any good? Another level 21. Another 21 armor, rather. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I stole a 38 armor helmet uh, earlier. Uh, full cranial helmet. Okay. That's pretty good. 38 armor. I also took a uh, clothing as well. 19 38 heavy construction armor this has got block stealth skill but good block this one's got one hand of melee nice i guess we're dressing as an iconoclast because they got pretty good armor so why not Pet pills uh yeah i guess we've finished up uh, finished being yeah, don't wait on me i'll head back to fallbrook in a spell okay man Some other goodies over here. I don't know why I'm bothering getting this hide, it's probably not worth anything. What am I doing? That's it for this place. Pick the next one. Because there's two locations to investigate. I also want to check out that side quest. Was it Little Memento? Where was that at? Oh, that's over there, the abandoned safe house. Not really in the area, per se. We still need proof. Uh, we have proof 200, 200 meters away up there. How do we get up there? Go around here, maybe? Carry on through here? Is that even possible? This little oasis here. These weird plants. Ooh. Look at that. Requires 90 to pick. 90. Skill. That's... <laughs> that's kind of random. Yeah, it says we can go up here. Oh. Hold on. 
Yep, there's the drone. Station here. Please, you don't have to do this. Just let us down. Look, come out. I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. Very fashionable. I can't. Anyone else? Wow, you got that? Hmm, nice. Worth a climb then. Where's the other guy? Yeah, looks like just one building they're in. Try going through this door. Here they come! Sure, they were the, who they were fighting there. <laughs> Man, this requires like like ninety-eight hacking skill. Hunting rifle ultra. That is dreadful. What a dreadful gun. We need better sniper rifles. I like stop using the sniper rifle because it's just falling behind on damage, and does one hundred sixty-eight. I guess we uh, cleared this one out of here already. That guy had a power uh, armor helmet, which is intriguing. Is that any good? How's that? Overhauled power helmet. That is, dr that is just junk in comparison. That's quite nice. That is very nice. I like that. The advanced defensive helmet. Gold. That's pink. <laughs> it's pink, but it's very effective. It's very nice. Should take a lot less damage now. Hmm, some weird shit going on here. We massacred the scientists, and uh, yeah, I don't know what they've been up to here. Weird experiments. if they shot the guy we heard. I certainly don't hear him anymore. Oh, there's a goon there. Lots of helmets. 
Ooh, another shoe grip. Always nice to get. Apparently what we want is in there, research. Right helmet gold. Hopefully it sells well. Yeah, free flamethrower. Leads outside. Ah, so you can come in through the back if you want. Come in through the back of this place and take it by surprise, I suppose. That would have been the smart way. But I didn't realize that you could do that. Man, there's so much stuff in these lockers. Probably gonna get over encumbered. Magnon, eh? Ah, yeah, he's the computer. <clears throat> Universal Defense Logistics. This terminal is only to be used by UDL personnel with clearance. Yada yada, excess fine of 100,000 bits. Yes, I'll take that. Messages. Good sulfur pocket, okay. Smells awful, yada yada. Better name, more catchy, Waterloo or Danger Burn. <laughs> Sick of the boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill parts of my report. Hmm. Hmm. Access restricted. Ooh. If Valdez wants a better title. See how she likes these. She's going to be furious if she ever finds this list, but I'm not covering for you. Make sure these are good and hidden. Thunderdog, Eggs Mayhem, Skunk Parade. Fuck you, Valdez. I want my range. Oh, a little bit of office humor there. Not very funny, though, but just <laughs> very juvenile, though. That's pretty cool. A bit of venting at work. Yeah, we got the evidence, I guess. Is that, uh, that's evidence enough that some corporation's doing some shady stuff around here, I guess. That wraps it up, does it? Yep, return to Sanja. Okay, let's do the, um, let's see if we could do the, uh, what's the other one? Little Memento side quest. While we're out in the... Get fast travel here while we're out here we can might as well do that one as well knock off another quest this one's only a hundred meters away so not far what's here anyone oh what's that scrap mechanic good ammo on these riff raff. yeah I was like once I take it out the big guys I was just like oh I can just go in here and just bap them these are nothing to worry about and uh, as I thought they did like no damage getting through my armor my armor is so good just, they're not not able to get enough hits in Did I, I think I turned one to mush somewhere I mean, but just, <laughs> I just just discombobulated it. Yeah. His hands are. How many hands does this man have? There's like a hand, an arm here, 
another arm here and then <laughs> oh, luckily we had the key card little memento yeah the guy must have given us the key code to get in To loot here and there. It's kind of, kind of sweetens the deal just a bit. Let's see if there's any mementos. Hmm, what's this? Someone left a ledger, a list of names, likely members of the unit. They used to use this outpost. Some of the names like Lamont and Delilah. Top of the list, some of the names are crossed off. Only to be added later, as if the person left or rejoined. A particular note is the name Ash is nowhere to be found. Interesting. No mention of Ash. Are we being, uh, are we doing this duty? Are we doing this job? Is he after them or something? Grenade launcher? Yeah. How much damage does a grenade launcher do? 412? That's... It's pretty bad considering my assault rifle does 629 damage. My light machine gun does 960 damage. That's that's pretty pretty useless to be honest. Uh I guess I'll some of the sell. I'm Delilah. PJ says you bought tickets for all of us. He didn't have to do that. I owe you. I don't know if I'll ever be able to pay you back, but thank you. Okay, so tickets to do what? I mention it. We're touching the coordinates for the waterfall camp. Grab your gear and meet us there by sunup. We're finally getting off this hellhole. Okay, so they are leaving, I guess? Yeah. I am over encumbered, as I expect. Oh no, not yet, not yet. Why am I, uh, why am I walking so slowly? That about. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm over in coming two and fifty-seven. Well, time to drop the useless junk. Dead eye assault rifle. That looks pretty cool. The DPS is not very good, but it's long range and it's better than better than. Uh, let's drop this generic. Yeah. What else we got? We got. We picked up a generic gun. We need revolvers. One more. We also picked up, like, probably a really crappy, yeah, low shift. What is this junk? Let's get rid of that, too. Okay, right. so we've got another place where they're supposed to be. Get off this hellhole. I suspect they're dead. Uh, let's see if they died or not. How do we get up there? What's behind this waterfall? Let's find out. Ooh, CP factory sewer entrance discovered. Uh, where? Crap again. Absolute trash. Get out. Where's the entrance? Because you found the entrance is up there. Where's the entrance? Huh? There's a found an entrance, but I don't see it. Oh there it is, look. Ooh, we can go in there. I'm not sure if I want to just yeah, but we can go in there. Oh really? I can't get up there? Oh come on. Come on. 
It's just to go all the way around, does it? <clears throat> Man, it wants us to go so far around. Probably so we can fight some thingies. Can fight some thingies. Maybe. Yep. Fight some more goons. I don't know if I can be uh, bothered to use any ammo for these guys. These are all scrubs. Scrubs. Oops. <laughs> I had a feeling when I said that, that that wouldn't work out well. Okay, so take out the big guy. Did I loot that? Yeah. Take out the big guy and then... Yeah. That's what I normally do. I didn't do that for some reason. Let's take out the big guys. The big guys are dangerous. The other ones aren't. I was gonna do that, but I thought, nah, they'd, they'd probably like pushovers, but no. Actually, they've got a couple of quality units. They're quite, uh, quite tough. And we leveled up. Uh, what should we get? Hmm, could do with some more hacking skill, really. Get that up to five. Medical up to another five. And yeah, that'll do. It's not my inventory. Can I drop stuff from my own inventory? Thank you. But yeah, there's just a couple, couple of, couple of these guys that are uh, that made much, too much to handle. I hate it when they kind of disintegrate because then you can't find where they died. Ooh. Need to uh, up my uh, lock picking game, it seems. Need to do better. Manta Queen. Where is she? There you are. this gun. But make the crap go away gun. Make this uh, nonsense go away gun. Alright, there's a Marauder Thug. More Marauder Thugs. MSI Soldiers, okay. Was this the, uh, this was them? Okay, so it's remains. Remains of these bones show the telltale sign of a mantisaur attack. Powerful jaws have crushed the skull. The weathering in some fragments suggests the passage through the beast's digestive tract. 
Amidst the dirt, you find a small lockbox that matches the description. Well, crap. So this is this is them basically. Ordnance control armor. What's that? What is ordnance control armor? It's junk. Apparently. Yeah, this is them. This is his buddies. Yeah. Got all messed up, it seems. Well, we tried. And it was as we suspected. Anyway, we're gonna fast travel out of here. But, uh, could we get closure for him? Let's go back to Amber Heights. Let him know the bad news. Thought he was kind of expecting it, so... I don't think he'd take it too hard. It's like, just as I expected, we're all dead now. And I'm the old man on my own. I'm drinking here. Move yourself on. Nothing on this moon for nobody. <laughs> just a lot of heartbreak. Like acting like we never talked to him before. It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink. I mind my own business. That's it. I'm a broken man. <laughs> oh, I could lie. I could buy you a bottle, but, uh, or I can bust one over your head. Don't call me kid. <laughs> I could out drink you. Kid? I ain't got but half a liver left. And what's there don't work so good. And I can still drink you under the table. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. Buy yourself a drink. I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so. I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? I can make a guess. The hottest place on Monarch is probably closest to Olympus. Exactly. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high, the peaks are in space. Well, there's no way. How do you survive? Oh, two breathers. The uh -huh. heat from Olympus is worse, though. Close your eyes, you can see rays bursting through your eyeballs. Little streaks of light. Sounds great. The funny thing is, dead in the middle, there's just smooth rock. Circular-like. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair-fine cracks all over. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment. Put my ear to the ground. Uh, oh. Hot enough to boil water and you put your ear against the rock? I did get a burn on the <laughs> lobe before I smartened up. Put a towel under me. It was at the edge of hearing. Deep down. Far off. Irregular. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what's it mean? Hell if I know. When there's a ground quake now, I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us with gravity, or wings getting stretched. Mm hmm. On the month's body. You know, a tiny part, a damn stupid part of me, hoped he was still out there. What happened? Uh, they bought themselves a ticket off world, but they were attacked while waiting for it. Damn. Well, you find our box of memories? Yeah, thing is, I found a list of agents of the outpost. You aren't on it. <laughs> well, ain't you clever? Fine. I was supposed to pick him up that night. Thing is, another offer came along been more lucrative hmm
Let me guess, that's not the box of memories. Surely ain't. But it'll buy me some better ones. Look, I like your gumption. I was gonna share the bits, but here's a couple extra. Now go on. Leave an old man to his past. That's fine. I mean, uh... What he did was not very good, but whatever. <laughs> it's like none of our business. No place to judge him. So, yeah, that's pretty bad though. Yeah, what's this? Radio Free Monarch. Help broker a deal with the Iconoclasts. Oh, right. We had a quest here. After all. Talk with them over here. Okay, cool. The yeah, no one to talk to in there. It must be it upstairs, maybe. Yeah, we felled it, mind, but we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're. Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. All right, what do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. <laughs> yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Hmm. Everyone needs you to stop using Devil's Peak. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. You really think the board's gonna let citizens listen to your propaganda? They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. Surely. Science, you're only transmitting on a single radio frequency and very few people can receive it. Uh, excuse me. I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know has ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. All right. Uh, you want to print propaganda in their magazines? <laughs> Sounds fair to me. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Okay. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Okay, MSI supplies you. One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Oh, well, yeah, Huxley. Yeah, I thought I heard about her. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. 
That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. So where is it? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. <laughs> I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. <laughs> Sounds like they're in need. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's bad he's not taking care of that stuff. That's like basic stuff. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll help these guys out and then we're done here, I think. I think we're done with this planet. Uh, but unfortunately, we're out of time, guys. So uh, next time we're gonna help these guys out. Hopefully shut down the radio signal. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done with this planet. Yeah, so join me for that, guys. Till next time.